With rain and floods in the forecast, there is a lot of anxiety in Ellicott City, Maryland. One year ago this weekend, three people died, and part of that city was wiped out by an historic flash flood. Scott Broom is back in Ellicott City tonight talking with people preparing to remember that tragedy this weekend. And the rain today really brought out some difficult emotion, right, Scott? Well, it certainly did. First and foremost, you have to remember that three people were killed here. Uh, during that terrible flood last year and some of them survived like the woman I'm about to introduce you to but they didn't survive by much. This is very traumatic to talk about. If it's moving up here, yes, I am very worried. Art gallery owner Robin Holliday. Yeah, I was in my gallery when it happened. I held the door until it hit about my chest and then it, the water fractured the glass and I went upstairs. Um, so in some sense, I'm fortunate to be alive that night and I should never have held the door. I was not thinking clearly. The Horse Spirit Gallery, like the rest of the city, was a disaster. It really came up to about here. Why did you come back here? But I'll tell you, I did it for the community. I did it for the sense of community. I've never had anything like this in my life. I got so close to all these people down here during this flood and um, I'm not letting that go. I'm actually excited about our future. At 11.30 tomorrow, we have a clock dedication and we'll ring the bells for the three people that died. And then the other part of the weekend is, you know, sort of celebratory as we rejoice being able to come back so much in one year. And then the third part of it for me, which is very important, is to say thank you to every single person that helped me rebuild because I wouldn't be here without them. Really compelling story from the owner of the Horse Spirit Art Gallery here in Ellicott City, Robin Holiday, and she is just one of many, many people who endured that and is gonna go into this weekend. While weather forecasters are predicting some rain this weekend, I am predicting definitely some tears. And then after that, quite a bit of laughter and some pride at the way this place has come back. There is still repairs underway here and the county just announced it's going to spend yet another 15 million dollars on flood improvement projects in the years to come. Reporting live in Ellicott City, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.